Hello folks, I apologize for the delay. It's been just a bit of a day, but for now we are reviewing Hebrew. And I'm excited about your interest in studying Hebrew. So as you can see, we've accumulated a number of consonants and vowels and all the letters that you see before you are consonants. And these characters, when presented in combination with dots and dashes, serve as vowels. But in a little while, you will learn that these characters can also be consonants. You've already learned that in terms of the yud. But for now, we're just reading across the page. Aleph is silent. Ayin is silent. He is the h. Chaf is the ch. Final chaf is the ch. Lamed makes the l sound. Mem makes the m sound. Final mem is the m sound because it's at the end of a word. Resh is the r sound. Shin is the sh sound, and the dot is part of the letter. And both of these are tav. One has a dot, one does not have a dot. They're both pronounced as t. Here we have the bet with the button in the belly. So it's the belly button. It's a dot inside, and it's the b. It might even be a ball inside a belly button. This is the yud, and when it's by itself, it sounds like a y, y. This is a nun, this is a nun. This is a nun <clears throat> in the regular or middle part of a word, and this is the final nun. Vowels, u, u, e, a, e, a, e, a, a, o, o, Two vertical dots is silent or makes the uh sound, depending on how you want to characterize two vertical dots. Line number one. <clears throat> Pardon me. Begins with a bet. Bo achem, baruchuni, baruch, baruch, hu. Line two, Bowie, Baruch Hashem. This is the hay with an apostrophe above it. This is a respectful manner of talking about God when we're not actually in a prayer setting. We read this as Hashem. Hashem is the Hebrew word for the name. The name is only associated with God. All other names are ordinary. Last two words on line two, Baruch Haba. Baruch means blessed. Haba, the one who is walking in or coming in or entering. Baruch Haba, blessed is one entering. Baruch Hu, blessed is he. Beginning with line, between line two and line three, Baruchim Habaim. Blessed are all those who are coming in the door. Baruch Shemo, blessed is his name. Line three, Baruch Hashem Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Line four, Bar, Bat, Brit, which means covenant. Brit Olam, eternal covenant. Brit Shalom, covenant of peace. Line five, Shabbat Shalom. By the way, that's a very common greeting. Shabbat Shalom, may you have a Sabbath of peace. Bore, Bli, Bo, Bam, Banu. Line six, Bracha. Bracha is the Hebrew word for blessing. The context is a noun. It is a blessing. Health is a blessing. Shalom is a blessing. It is a bracha. 
This next word is BIMA, which means raised platform. Uh, when we are speaking of a synagogue pulpit, typically we use the Hebrew word BIMA. Rabbi, which means my teacher, is a Hebrew word and it becomes anglicized as rabbi. Bim, bam, beini, line seven. El yon, yamim, yam, yaar, yamim, mayim, line number eight. Ayalot, yamin, yitain, Yerushalayim. That's Jerusalem in Hebrew. Yerushalayim. Once more. Yerushalayim. That should be a sight word. We need to know Yerushalayim because that's been at the core of our identity since King David 3,000 years ago. Line number nine. This is the Nun. Barahuni Neranena Neranena. What's more? Neranena. Next word. Naria. Naria. Last word. Naria. These two words in the center of this line. Nailha. Neamar. Repeating. Nailha Neemar. This next line. Make it a bit smaller. Sorry about that. Nair Nora Ani Shani Baini Emuna. Emuna is the Hebrew word for faith, as in having faith in something or someone, emunah, we just speak of having faith, emunah in God. We also speak of having emunah, faith in one another. Emune. Next line. Banu, mimenu, yamenu, libenu, Hish me anu. Hish me anu. That's a long word. Hish me anu. Last line. O tanu. O tanu. Alenu. Alenu. A very important prayer is called the Alenu. Eloheinu. Eloheinu. A bit of grammar. When you hear the new suffix, it means we or us or belonging to us, ours, O U R S. O ta nu, mi menu, ale nu, yame nu, li be nu, elohe nu, hishmi a nu. That was fast. We'll slow it down. Banu, within us. Mi menu, from us. Yame nu, our days. Days of life. Libenu, our heart. Hishmianu, God makes us here. Otanu, us. Alenu, upon us all. Elohenu, our God. And now we will move on to the next page, which is page number 26. Well, pardon me, we'll have to do it the hard fashion, the old fashioned way. One second, please.
Here we go. Thank you for your patience. So we're on page 26 now. Line one, this is the O. It's a toothpick with a dot on top of it. It's an O sound. El Yon. El Yon. Line two, that's the final nun. Amen. We said it before. This is the word amen, which in English is something that's pronounced amen, but in Hebrew we say amen. Amen, yamin, hamon, yitain, ain, min. Line three, the U vowel, Yerushalayim. Once more, Yerushalayim. Three dots on a slant is an uval. This is the same word, Yerushalayim. It's spelled differently. This has the toothpick with the dot in the center, which is the uval. Three dots on a diagonal or an u sound. Both are Yerushalayim, Yerushalayim. Romimu, Romimu, Lehu. Line fourth is the U vowel. Baruch, Barahu. When you have a verb that ends in an U sound, like Barahu, Romamu, Lahu, you actually have an individual commanding a group of people to do something. Baruch means to bless. Barahu means y'all bless. Romamu Rom, means to lift up or to exalt. Romamu means lift up, y'all exalt. It's used in the context of praising God. Lahu, Luch means to go, to walk, to exit. Lahu means y'all go. Romamu, Lahu, Barhu. The word Shema means listen. Shimu would be y'all listen. Gadol means Big Godlu used often means make something great. Line five. This is the mem. Amen. Romemu. Yamenu. Nu is the suffix means we, us, or ours. Yamenu, our days. Yamin. Emuna. Line six. Bam. Beam. Bam. Mayim. Yerushalayim, line seven. El Yon, Aleinu, Libenu, reviewing. El Yon, Aleinu, Libenu, Yerushalayim. Line eight. Barahu, Barahuni, Bruchim. Repeat. Barahu, Barahuni, Baruchim, line nine, Baruch, Baruch Haba, Baruch Hu, line number 10, Rabi, Bracha, Bore, Brit, repeat, Rabi, Bracha, Bore, Brit, line 11, Neranina, lots of nuns, three nuns, nun one, nun two, nun three. Neranina, here's the regular nun. Neranina, Naria, Naria, Neemar, last word, Neemar. Line 12, this is the Shin. Shabbat, that's the Sabbath, very important word, that's a sight word. Ashkenazim often pronounced Shabbos. When we're speaking modern Hebrew, we say Shabbat. Shani, Yerushalayim, Yerushalayim. Line 13, Shabbat, Bat, Brit. Line 13, what's more? Shabbat, Bat, Brit. Now we'll go to page number 27. And I think we 
have time for page 27 and page 28 as well. If we can find it. No, pardon me, folks. Here we go, page 27, I hope you can see this. This is the Dalet, Dalet. It's the Hebrew letter that makes the D sound, D, Dalet. And if you see this little thing here, I call it a dent, it dents out. You see the shape? It, it dents out and maybe it dents in a little bit as you start to get to the vertical. It's a very rectangular letter, obviously. This is the D, Dalet. So line number one, D, 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 day, day, de, da, da, do, do, do. Three dots on a slant is the U sound, do. A dot in the center of the toothpick is an ooh sound. Picture getting hit in the stomach by somebody. Somebody hits you in the middle and you say ooh. That's the ooh vowel. Do. Once more, line one. D, D, day, day, de, da, da, do, 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 do. Do you remember the old song? Do, a deer, a female deer. There's your do, there's your do, do. Line number two, D, Dich, Deal, Deem, Dean, Deer, Deet, Deesh. Let's try line number two once more, please. D, Dich, Deal, Deem, Dean, Deer, Deet, Deesh. Line one, a little faster. D, D, day, day, de, da, da, do, 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 do. Line one, we're going backwards. Do, 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 da, da, de, day, day, d, d, d. Line two. D, dich, deal, deem, dean. Dear, deet, dish. Line three. Dish, 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 a dish, a dish, ha dish. Last three words on line three. A dish, a dish, ha dish. Line number four. Do. Duch, dual, doom, dune, door, doot, douche. My number five. Douche, 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 e douche, e douche, he douche. My number six. Do. Doch, dol, dome, don, door, dot, dosh. Let's try line six once more. Do, doch, dol, dome, don, door, dot, dosh. Door is a Hebrew word. Door means a generation. It's a very well known phrase that we often use in conversation and also in the prayer book and also in Torah study, it's door la door, from one generation to the next generation, door. It's a very important concept because all the do wrote generations of the people of Israel 
part and wrapped in the breed, the covenant between God and the people descending from Abraham and Sarah. Line number seven, dosh, dosh, ah, dosh, ah, dosh, ha, dosh. Line seven, dosh, dosh, ah, dosh, ah, dosh, ha, dosh. And you see the last word, ha, dosh. You see the little stick with the dot above it, which is the O sound, and the shin with the dot, two dots next to each other. And that's just a visual element that we need to get accustomed to. But that's the O vowel, and that's the shin, so it's dosh. This is douche. Dot in the center is the U vowel, the shin dot, douche. So line number three, dish, 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 ah, dish, ah, dish. Hadish. Line one. <clears throat> Pardon me very quickly. Line one. D, 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 day, day, de, da, da, do, 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 do. You're doing beautifully. Just one more and we will conclude for this day. We're going to page number 28. For some reason, <clears throat> even though I load them in order, they do not come up in order. So, oh, here we go. This is the kuf. This is the kuf. Strange looking letter. This is the kuf. This makes the k sound. This makes the k sound. And you have one section which is this first section. Then you have what we call a tail, a second section that just comes down below the line. This is a k sound, hard k, 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 k. So line number one, here we go. Key, key, k, 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 Ku, ku. Let's try that again. Line one. Ki, ki, k, 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 ka, ka, ko, ko, ku, ku. Pardon me for a moment. Let's try that one more time. <clears throat> Maybe a little slower. Pardon me. I'm clearing my throat. Line one. Key, key, k, 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 ka, ka, ko, ko, ku, ku. So last two words together, cuckoo. Reading Hebrew can be a little cuckoo or kooky. <laughs> you take this ku and you put the first letter here, key, you've got kooky or Key ku. Let's jump around a little bit. Line number one. Key ku ko ko ka ku ka key k ke k ku k ko ko key ku ka ka ke k K, key, and key. Line number two. Call, come, con, car. Car means cold. It's just cold here. Car, not the kind of car that you and I get into to take a ride, but this is car. This is Hebrew. Back to line two. Call, come, con, car, kosh, cut. Kad. Line three. Kad, 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 ka, dish, kadish, kadish. This is how we write the Hebrew word, which we pronounce when we slur kadish. Some people are familiar with the mortars kadish or the half kadish or the full kadish used in the prayer service. 
it's a very sacred prayer. And this is how we write the word Kaddish. Kaddish is the official pronunciation. Kaddish. Line three. Kad, 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 Ka, Dish, Kaddish. That's the name of the prayer Kaddish. Line four. Kid, 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 Ki, Dush. Ki douche. Line four. Kid, 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 ki, douche, ki douche. Ki douche is how we literally write the word that we sometimes pronounce when we slur kiddish, making the kiddish over the wine, making the kiddish with the bread. The kiddish with the bread is sometimes nicknamed the hamotzi, the kiddish with the wine. People are familiar with saying the term bore pre hagafen. This is kiddush. We say kiddush. Very special prayer. Kaddish and kiddush. They sound very similar. You have the k, the d, and the sh. K, d, and sh. These three letters, k, d, sh, form the Hebrew word kadosh, which means holy or sacred. The Kaddish is a prayer of holiness that we say on a variety of occasions in the prayer service. Kiddush is a declaration of the holiness of Shabbat and Jewish holidays. And we make a toast, we drink wine. <clears throat> Kiddush, line number five. Kal, Kam, Khan, Kar, Kash, Kat, Kad. Once more, line five. Kal, kam, kan, kar, kash, kat, kad. Line six. Kadish. That's the kadish. Kadish. Kidush. Kidush. Try it again. Line number six. Kadish. Kadish. Kidush. Kiddush, line seven. Kad, 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 ka, dosh, ka, dosh. Line seven. Kad, 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 ka, dosh, ka, dosh. Line eight. Ka, dosh, ka, dosh, ka, dosh. Once more, line eight. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Line nine. Ha Kadosh, Ha Kadosh, Ha Kadosh. Ha in Hebrew, as the prefix means the. Ha Kadosh, the holy. Ha Kadosh, Ha Kadosh. Ha Kadosh, line 10. Ha Kadosh, Baruch, Hu. Ha Kadosh, Baruch, Hu. This is kind of a nickname for God. The Holy Blessed One is He. H E. Nowadays, that we're talking about awareness that language is loaded with perspective and we're trying to be gender sensitive although technically the hebrew word who corresponds to the english word he he we don't really think that god has a gender originally in hebrew god was spoken of as having a gender ha kadosh baruch who the holy blessed one is he Nowadays, I say Hakadosh Baruch Hu, the Holy Blessed One. Although technically, Hu means H E, who is the pronoun for He. Hakadosh Baruch Hu, line eleven, and we'll conclude for the day. Baruchuni le Shalom Mal Ache Ha Shalom Mal Ache. El Yon.
Let's try 11. Baruchuni l'shalom. Malachi ha-shalom. Malachi el-yon. Line 12. Mimelech malachi ha-melachim. Ha-melachim. Ha-kadosh baruch hu. 12. Mimelech malachi Hamalachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Eleven and twelve. Baruchuni le shalom, Malache ha shalom, Malache elion. Mi melech, Malache hamalachim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. Appreciate your being here today, and I wish you well. Shalom until we see each other again. Bye for now.